Arts now. Good evening and welcome to News Watch 12 at 6. I'm Dan Hagen. In the Duluth neighborhood where a murder-suicide claimed the lives of five people and a dog, people are still trying to cope with the tragic and unsettling events. Reporter Nora McEwen has more. Duluth's East Hillside neighborhood Thursday was a community still in shock. It's just really hard. <laughs> you think you're safe in this community and it's just crazy because I've, I'm always chatting with the neighbors and I'm always chatting with the neighbors and everyone's chatty and I always talk to the neighbors over there. Neighbors say this is a friendly community. Families and elderly people make up most of the block. Really, I mean, this is a really nice street. It's a nice area. Molly Seabach also lives in the neighborhood and says two weeks ago, the Berries were part of a group playing and watching a football game in the street. And everyone was cheering them on. It was a really nice day. And so all of the neighbors were out and they kind of felt like stars because everyone was watching them. And it was just like really friendly and I was proud, you know, to live here. Seabach says Sean Berry often helped out his neighbors without being asked. He's really nice. He's always snowblowing for people and they watch my kids play football. And Some have already started laying flowers outside of the home where the Berries lived. It's just, it blows my mind that something like this even happened in Duluth, something this horrific, let alone on my block. Members of an already tight-knit neighborhood now comforting one another in the wake of an unimaginable tragedy. Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller joins us now from our weather center. Another cold spring day out there, but at least I saw some sunshine. Yeah, hey Dan, the weekend is here. Clouds out there currently. Some light rain showers are back in the forecast tonight, but tomorrow we're going to go for 70 through the afternoon. Here's the radar, and again, there's a couple little sprinkles in here. Not a big deal. This is a warm front lifting north this evening, which means tomorrow We'll be on the south side of that front, and that means much warmer temperatures for us. In fact, look at these temperatures right now across the plains. It's 91 in North Platte, 82 for Omaha. Now, no 80s or 90s for you tomorrow, but still, we could go for 60s and a few low 70s across the area tomorrow. A uh, bigger picture here shows lots of cloud cover. We'll keep things cloudy tomorrow with a couple light rain showers tonight and potentially some stronger storms tomorrow evening with some locally heavy rainfall and gusty winds. Our forecast then tonight, though, is is mostly cloudy skies, a couple of rain showers out there, maybe a rumble of thunder, non-severe, with low temperatures down near 42. Your full forecast is coming up, Dan. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signed a bill today to dissolve Walt Disney World's private government. This comes after Disney opposed a new state law critics have dubbed Don't Say Gay. The law would eliminate the 55-year-old Disney government by June of 2023. The measure does allow for the district to be reestablished, leaving an avenue to renegotiate in the future. The move could have huge tax implications for Disney, whose series of theme parks have transformed Orlando into one of the world's most popular tourist destinations. Nations. Congresswoman and conspiracy theorist Marjorie Taylor Greene was the subject of a hearing today in her home state of Georgia focused on whether she should be disqualified to seek political office. According to the disqualification cause in the Constitution, an office holder who backs an insurrection is prohibited from another term. Greene was a vocal supporter of overturning the 2020 presidential election and even suggested executing House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Your Honor, this is a solemn occasion. This is not politics. This is not theater. This is a serious case that the voters who we represent have brought in order to offer proof that their United States representative seeking re-election, Marjorie Taylor Greene, having taken the oath to support the Constitution, then broke that oath and engaged in insurrection. Prosecuting attorneys say her rhetoric prior to the January 6th siege of the U.S. Capitol helped fan the flames for those involved in the insurrection. Green frequently responded to pointed questions by saying she couldn't remember what she said. A critically acclaimed author will speak about the Holocaust in Stevens Point next Friday. Fern Schumer Chapman has examined the legacy of the Holocaust, the experiences of child refugees, including her own mother's journey. She will present at 4 p.m. next Friday at UW Stevens Point. The event is free and open to the public. Chapman's mother, Edith Westerfeld, fled Nazi Germany for America in 1938 as a young girl. 
Chapman has presented at hundreds of schools in the nation. She will speak to high school students at Spash Friday and will speak to Mount Sinai Congregation in Wassa Sunday. COVID-19 was the third leading cause of death in the United States in 2021, that for the second year in a row. Friday, the CDC released new mortality data finding that heart disease and cancer were the first and second leading causes of death. Researchers say in 2021, about 700,000 people died from the heart disease, about 600,000 died from cancer, and more than 400,000 died from COVID-19. That number is up nearly 20% from 2020. As everybody knows, today is Earth Day and many local organizations are celebrating. We'll take you to Nicolay College to observe their fair for the environmental holiday. That's after weather with Jeff right here on Newswatch 12. Newswatch 12 is brought to you by Bone and Joint Walk-In Care. Freshen up your home this spring with 11% off everything at Menards. Get an elegant, timeless look or a bold and contemporary style with Menards' great selection of durable, waterproof, and easy to install Great Lakes vinyl plank flooring. Add privacy and style to any room with window images, blinds, and shades. Get them trimmed to width in the store for free. Get 11% off all window images, blinds, and shades and Great Lakes flooring now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Whether it's for work or play, you want a truck. A truck that'll get the job done right. We have them all. Half-ton trucks, Power Strokes, Cummins, Duramax, SUVs. Over 800 to choose from. Know that all Lens trucks are fully inspected, certified clean, can be purchased online, and can be delivered right to your door. It's our way of saying thanks to our past and future customers for the last 35 years. Go now to LensTruck.com. Lens Truck. And I walked right into U.S. Cellular and I said I want to choose any phone in here for free. What did he say? He said, sure. Really nice guy. I had my pick of any phone from any brand, free. Even the newest ones. Wow. Yeah. You got the big screen? Yeah. Big storage? Yeah. Fits in your pocket? Fits in my pocket. You know, it's a big phone and that's what I wanted and I got, I got what I wanted. At U.S. Cellular, we put you first. So choose any phone free. Plus, get unlimited data for just $30 a month. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. Freshly mown grass and sounds of friends' laughter is in the air. You're ready to rock the summer, and so is Wickersham Jewelry during their annual Diamonds and Grill event, April 4th through the 23rd. Give her the gorgeous ring she's been dreaming of. And get the Yeti Tundra 45 Cooler or Traeger Grill you've always wanted with a qualifying purchase. Interest-free financing available. Wickersham Jewelry. If you can dream it, we can make it. You made it. The late April weekend's here. It's going to feel more like late May tomorrow with temperatures back up in the 70s, followed by a big cool down Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. For now, though, a warm front across the area, giving us some sprinkles and some light rain showers. There could be a couple rumbles of thunder out there tonight, all because it's separating much colder air here. And then look at these temperatures across the plains, right? Whenever you do this, the atmosphere gets really charged up, and that's creates a storm and here it is now across the area. Now we're going to have some really uh, weather across our region beginning tonight in throughout the day tomorrow and that's definitely going to cause problems across our region in terms of rainfall and other things going on. So here's the radar once again and that's going to cause us some precipitation tonight that will likely be non severe this evening. But tomorrow we are talking about temperatures that are going to be up near 70 that could give a little bit of problem across our region in terms of, of some severe weather through the afternoon. But that's likely going to stay to our west across parts of Minnesota. So tomorrow uh, look like a couple of rain showers early in the day, followed by some precipitation probably around noon, and then we dry out for several hours, followed by some more rain in there tomorrow evening. So overall, it's going to be mostly a dry day for us tomorrow, and then temperatures soar into the 70s throughout the afternoon. That's going to cause some problems tomorrow night. So warm temperatures tomorrow, eat tomorrow daytime will increase throughout the afternoon, and that will set the stage for potential 
potentially some strong storms tomorrow evening. It'll have lots of moisture to work with, lots of instability in the atmosphere, and that's definitely going to cause some issues across our area with some gusty winds tomorrow evening and maybe some small hail in there as well with some torrential downpours too. So here's your seven day forecast and here we go. We got a lot going on here. So for tonight, we're looking at partly cloudy skies some mostly cloudy skies and maybe a couple of showers closer to sunrise tomorrow morning. We got that. Then tomorrow, the warm front goes well to our north throughout the afternoon. That'll put us on the warm side. That's going to give us temperatures near 71 tomorrow with a constant chance for a thunder shower. But again, most of us will stay dry. Then a cold front comes through tomorrow evening. That's going to drop our temperatures tomorrow night and give us a good chance for rain tomorrow evening. That rain could be locally heavy. We're talking about gusty winds, maybe some small hail and torrential downpours. And then look at the high though Sunday 62, but falling through the afternoon. And then look what happens Monday 41, Tuesday 35, Wednesday 46. We're dry now Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, but temperatures go for a ride, especially with high temperatures in the 30s on Tuesday. Dan. Nicolet College in Rhinelander held an Earth Day Fair today. The event returned after a two-year hiatus. Newswatch 12's Matt Weaver was there and has more on sustainability in the Northwoods. We have the, the woods, you know, the lakes, the rivers. Bringing it back after the two-year hiatus um, and, and having it been uh, the 10th annual, really wanted to make sure we continue to celebrate Earth Day up, up in the Northwoods. Nicolet College's Earth Day Fair returned to the Lakeside Center today. This year's theme was permaculture, a type of sustainability. A couple of dozen booths, music and lectures were open to the public. We had two different speakers to talk about large scale solar, um, solar energy initiatives. And I think getting that, getting that broad perspective of where solar energy is now and um, you know, the connection to the, to the array that's in Rhinelander. From marine to land, energy to recyclables, earth lovers were all over. One group of gardeners shared their compost project and how it can help the community. Our commitment as a group is to really educate the community, to promote a connection to nature and sustainability within our community, to have an awful lot of fun um, sharing ideas and experience our, our gardens. The community event was well received. After all, who doesn't want to keep our Northwoods as the beautiful place that it is? It's particularly nice up in the Northwoods, but also, um, you know, it's a Wisconsin-based holiday, so it's got that extra uh, layer of connection. Reporting in Rhinelander, Matt Weaver, Newswatch 12. Human activity is causing global temperatures to increase. As another Earth Day rolls around, data from Europe reveals the grim reality of climate change. Europe's most recent summer was the hottest on record. It not only smashed European records, it also broke all sorts of rain and fire records on the continent. Sicily broke the heat record at nearly 120 degrees Fahrenheit. The previous record was 118 degrees in 1977 in Athens. Flooding last July killed more than 200 230 people on the German-Belgian border and more than 1.9 million acres of land were burned by destructive wildfires in Turkey and Greece. On Earth Day today, Governor Tony Evers signed an executive order creating a new office for environmental justice. Republicans last year removed the office from Evers' proposed budget, so the governor issued an executive order instead. Evers said the office will help promote policies and strategies to enhance climate resilience and support Wisconsin communities experiencing the consequences of climate change. Evers earlier this week announced the state's first clean energy plan. With the Biden administration's mask requirement for public transit no longer in effect, some might be wondering, will I still be protected from airborne illnesses if I'm the only one wearing a mask? The answer may surprise you. Jen Sullivan has more in today's Health Minute. Mask traveler, party of one? As airlines, trains, and various bus companies have announced they will no longer require passengers or crew members to wear masks, some people responded with relief. Yay, no more masks! <laughs> Others with slight panic. I'll always wear my mask. While many companies like Delta and Amtrak say those who still want to stay masked up are encouraged to do so, the question arises, if you're wearing a mask but no one else is, are you still protected? According to CNN's chief medical correspondent, one-way masking still has benefits. It does depend to some extent on, on what kind of mask you're wearing. 
As we've heard throughout the pandemic, cloth and surgical masks do not offer as much protection for the wearer as others. Whereas if you look at these high filtration masks and N95, KN95 masks, these are, these are very good masks. They have significant filtration, they have electrostatic fibers that really help sort of uh, screen out the virus, but they're not perfect. Gupta says it also depends on the ventilation where you are. Airplanes are probably one of the safest places because of the high air exchange rates, and we haven't seen significant outbreaks on airplanes. And of course, the more transmissible the virus, the greater the chances are of you getting infected. So while one-way masking isn't as effective in protecting you from COVID-19, wearing one can still be a very good mitigation measure, especially if you're also vaccinated and boosted. For today's Health Minute, I'm Jen Sullivan. More details are emerging about Russia's future plans in Ukraine. We'll have more on that. Plus, it is almost that time again. Fishermen and women for this week's Big Old Fish. We'll be right back. Wow! Look what $1 buys right now at Furniture and Appliance Mart. You asked for it and we delivered. It's the first time we're offering savings up to 40% off, plus 60 months special financing, plus no money down on in-stock items. Only at Furniture and Appliance Mart. People said we couldn't run a successful business using progressive values, but that's exactly what we did. That's how we built the Bucks Arena. We made sure our minority and women-owned businesses were able to grow with it, paying good wages, using materials made in Wisconsin, all done in an environmentally sustainable way. That's the type of thinking we need in the U.S. Senate. We're not gonna just talk about issues. I'm gonna go to Washington and deliver. I'm Alex Lazary, and I approve this message. Why do dermatologists choose Dove? The Dove Beauty Bar is gentle, not only cleans, hydrates my skin. As a dermatologist, I want what's best for our skin. With one quarter moisturizing cream, Dove is the number one bar dermatologists use at home. Roof warranties are all about trust. Your trust in GAF, a time-tested company, and our trust in our master elite contractors. They're trained, licensed, insured, and only they can offer our best warranties. Call Oneida Roofing today. Need a new boat or outboard? Then it's time to trade and upgrade with American Marine at Motorsports and Suzuki Outboards because we need your old boat. We need to buy fishing boats, pontoons, and speedboats. So trade in your old one and upgrade into a new boat today. Come check out more boats and pontoons in stock than anywhere else in Wisconsin. Or we can help get you top dollar by selling your old boat on consignment. It's time to trade and upgrade with Suzuki Outboards and American Marine and Motorsports Shano. Dateline tonight. The kidnapping of Sherry Papini was the first story. Her return was the second. Her confession a third. But the whole story? As twisted as they come. Dateline tonight, 9, 8 central. Get your hands up! Monday, it's the live semifinals. And which fan favorite will be saved? I love that song. That's catchy as heck. American Song Contest. Live Monday on NBC. Wow! Look what $1 buys right now at Furniture and Appliance Mart. Get a Tempur-Pedic or Purple mattress for $1 a day. Guaranteed delivery within five days on all in-stock mattresses. 60 months special financing, plus no money down. Only at Furniture and Appliance Mart. A clear plan is emerging as Russia continues its invasion of Ukraine. For the first time, the Russian army is admitting it wants to take full control of southern Ukraine and the Donbass region. Meanwhile, Ukrainian forces are holding out in key cities in the south, and new satellite images confirm mass graves outside the besieged city of Mariupol. Gloria Pazmino has the latest. Russian forces are pushing ahead in the southeast of Ukraine with the clear goal to take full control of the south and the Donbas region. It's the first time the Russian military admits its plan to establish a land bridge through Ukraine's southern region. It comes as Ukraine receives a fresh round of U.S. support to fight back. In particular, it is artillery, shells, drones. Russia's strategy would connect Russia to Crimea, the peninsula it annexed in 2014. Nearly 60 days into the invasion, the Russian army has only managed partial control of southern Ukraine. Ukrainian forces in the region have sued their ground in the key cities of Mykolaiv and Odessa. In the besieged city of Mariupol, soldiers continue to hold out at a steel plant. As many as a thousand civilians and soldiers are believed to be taking shelter there. 
Mariupol is the beating heart of Ukraine today. Uh, our guys are outnumbered 10, 15 times. In Rubizhna, as firepower continues to rain down on them, Ukrainians take shelter. I want to go home, she says. I've suffered too much. Satellite images show what appear to be mass graves outside Mariupol. Ukrainian officials say it points to war crimes, claiming Russian forces dug up trenches and buried bodies. I'm Gloria Pasmino reporting. After the break, Jeff will have one final look at your forecast. But first, this week's Big Old Fish. Newswatch 12's Big Old Fish is brought to you by Kurtz Island Sports Shop in Monaco. You're going to need a bigger boat. What did the man say when everyone got annoyed with his fish puns? Well, I probably should scale back. Well, anyway, moving on with this week's Big Old Fish, we start off with 13-year-old Grayson Riddich from Cedarburg. Now, Grayson caught this beautiful four-pound largemouth at this year's Lions Fishery on Boom Lake, right here in Rhinelander. Goes on to say he was fishing with his dad, grandpa, and guide Lee Bastion. He also notes that the fish was successfully released back into the water. Well, four-pound largemouth, that's definitely a big old fish. Way to go, Grayson. Keep on reeling them in. Next up on this week's Big Old Fish, we have nine-year-old Lincoln Flores from St. Germain. Now, Lincoln caught this 27.6-inch northern while ice fishing on Plum Lake with his dad and brothers. Well, 27.6 inches and a northern pike? Yeah, that's a big old fish. Way to go, Lincoln. Keep on reeling them in. And finally on this week's Big Old Fish, we have Blanca. No last name given. You know, like Cher. Anyway goes on to say that Blanca caught this 10-pound, 28-inch walleye in the evening and also says that it was her first and, of course, the biggest. Well, that's a heck of a way to start it out. That is a big old fish. Way to go, Blanca. Keep on reeling them in. All right, fishermen and women, make sure to keep those trophy pictures coming. All the information you need to be in a future episode of Big Old Fish and win a Norling Taxidermy Fish Mount is on our website, WJFW.com. And remember, anglers, fish on. Here's why it's smart to custom order your Ford SUV. Because custom orders receive priority. You'll get an extra 1,000 order bonus plus incentive protection, guaranteeing you the best offer now or at delivery. And the features you choose. Want an EPA estimated 41 combined MPG in an Escape Hybrid? A 12-inch touchscreen in an Edge? You got it. In a Ford built your way. Order your 2022 Escape, Edge, or Explorer to lock in the special flex by offer and get a 1,000 retail order bonus cash. Moments of life are special, and suffering from diabetes should not get in the way. U.S. Med's mission is to find ways to make your diabetes more manageable and more comfortable. You deserve to enjoy life without the constant reminder of living with diabetes. If you monitor with four or more tests per day, inject insulin three or more times per day, or use an insulin pump, you may qualify to receive a continuous glucose monitor, the latest in diabetes technology. A continuous glucose monitor provides blood sugar readings without uncomfortable finger sticks and alerts you real time to potentially harmful spikes in your blood sugar levels. U.S. Med is an approved provider for Medicare and over 500 private insurance companies. If you're a caretaker for someone who suffers from diabetes or have diabetes yourself and meet these conditions, please call our diabetic specialist now to see if you qualify for your continuous glucose monitor. If you're living with diabetes and using insulin, you know the pain of pricking your fingers over and over again. By wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can reduce the pain of pricking your fingers right away. If you're testing your blood sugar four more times per day, injecting insulin three or more times per day, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetic Health Hotline today and learn about the latest CGM technology. Not only can a CGM immediately reduce reduce pain, it's accurate, easy to use, and helps you make better diabetes treatment decisions. And if you have Medicare, you can get a new CGM at little or no out-of-pocket cost. We'll also provide free shipping of your new CGM, and we'll bill your insurance company for you. If you are testing your blood sugar four more times per day and injecting insulin three or more times per day or using an insulin pump, call now and learn how to receive your new continuous glucose monitor at little or no out-of-pocket cost. 
Pickleball is back on the menu at Pioneer yes. Park in Rhinelander. The nets are now up and the courts open today at 3 p.m. The courts are open for anybody interested in playing, so bring your paddles and your A-game, Jeff. That's going to make a lots of people happy, including one Dan Hagen who loves playing pickleball. I know, and the weather tomorrow for pickleball will be good. However, it's going to be warmer, highs back near 70, but we'll be dodging a couple of rain showers across our region tomorrow. And tomorrow evening, about this time, a cold front's going to approach the area, and that could give us a chance for some gusty thunderstorms, maybe some small hail in there as well. Until then, though, look at these temperatures. So uh, we could do 70 tomorrow, no 80s or 90s for us, but here's an idea of what the climate is just kind of messed up right now across the Great Lakes in the Midwest. Uh, well, eventually the cold air is going to win as it usually does. It's heavier and denser, and then we're going to do this. We're going to cool off after Sunday, 40s Monday, 30s Tuesday, but let's just take in tomorrow first. We'll have high temperatures up near 70. Hopefully we can avoid that rain that's mm -hmm. coming, at least not a lot of it. Well, we'll have more for you at Newswatch 12 at 10. We will see you then.